it's a talented team we played tonight, you know, and the record hasn't shown it as of yet. Uh, but they got their first win of the year last night and played us extremely tough tonight. And, you know, what people need to realize is that's a new coaching staff this year and an entirely new roster. And I just know how difficult that is you know, when we're trying to fit in three or four new guys into our system in one year. The time it takes to do that. And uh, the thing is, is they have extremely talented guys, and, and they showed a lot of that tonight uh, with some of the shots they hit. And, uh, you know, just kept making a run out of us, no quit, you know, especially on the second night of a long trip. And, uh, you know, I thought those guys really competed hard. It, it presents problems. I mean, those are some big boys. I mean, that kid's 6'10", 285. You know, I think he might be bigger than that. And, uh, you know, he's not moving when you get in the paint. So, you know, what we, we had to do is to be a little bit more patient and get into, into Ryan. Um, you know, I thought we were staring him down a little bit and then trying to throw it, which gives that defense a little bit of time to catch up. We had some turnovers there. Uh, but it's definitely stuff we can learn from and we got to get better at going forward. I, mean, um, I was pleased. I felt like at times um, I was a little bit disappointed with our composure. Um, you know, I, th I thought that was something that struck me as very unlike us uh, in, in this year. and. Uh, and, you know, that's something that just can't happen. Anytime you're trying to do something that's taken away from your focus on execution, uh, that's a negative, and uh, that's something we just can't have. Um, it's a little different because there's not that many guys my size in the RMAC. Yeah. Um, it's tough. I mean, Trevor's a big kid. I don't really get to go against that kind of size in practice all the time, so sometimes I need to, I need to adjust, and I, I didn't do a very good job of adjusting. I mean, I didn't get to the line, but I wasn't finishing – my layups like I should have been, and I wasn't wasn't posting as hard as I should have been. Even though those guys are big and strong, I mean, I can still get post position on them, and I needed to work a little harder. But um, I definitely prefer to play against bigger guys, so it's nice to to have every once in a while. Um, well, they were knocking down shots, and we were playing hard enough on defense. We were playing tired, and the shots called that timeout. He brought us together. I think we came out and scored five straight, maybe seven straight, mm -hmm. and. Uh, led the rest of the way out. I mean, we just talked to each other in that huddle. We knew we had this game and that we were basically letting them back in it. And if we just did what we did in the first half, kept our energy back up, that uh, that we would get the lead back and, and choke them out on defense. Um, we, we just we played in spurts. I mean, we would we'd have great defensive spurts, and then we'd have mental lapses. Yeah. And if we don't have those lapses, I mean, I think we're the best defensive team in the RMAC. I mean, we, we preach defense every week in practice. And I know everyone does, but I mean, we we really get after it, and if we just play defense the way we know how, all five of us together, I mean, we're a tough team to score on uh, with our gap defense. So if we just don't have those mental lapses as a team, uh, we'll be really tough to score on.